Good morning, Nail Bays. So I am detoxing right now. So I've been starting my day off with the cold pressed juice that I made. And let's get this day started. So I'm going to let y'all watch me work. Watch me do this rebalance on my client. I am using Young Nails Core White, which is like the perfect blend of a milky white. And y'all know I love me some young nails because it lays like butter. Look at it. Let's look at it. Look at that. I love it. But anywho, um, this is one of my favorite clients. She just always keeps up with her nails. Her every time she comes in, like however I did her nails, they look just like that when when she bring me her hands back. They never have breaks, cracks, lift, and none of that. Um, that's a that's a picture of how her nails look when I soak them off and there's another okay and she is definitely the goat she is one of my original clients too so you know I just love doing her nails and I, I, we always have the best nail sessions like honey when I tell you she is so freaking funny we be crying laughing crying like there's nothing like uh, having clients that's got great personalities and she is one of them um, so pretty much what I'm doing is laying this acrylic and, you know, just cleaning up them sides, making sure it ain't acrylic all over, you know, her, her cuticles and stuff like that. Sitting that acrylic off in there really close to the cuticle, cuticles, but not on them and bringing it down. That's all I'm doing, y'all. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna get her out the way, do something cute on her little freestyle and send her out and send her on her way. Y'all can finish watching the rest of this video. It's not very long because I it is sped up, so it might look a little aggressive, but yeah, you get it. At the end of my day, I always make sure I write down everything that I did for the day, anything that my clients might have gotten, I write it down. And I still made sure that I was able to make my son's first football game of the year. I'm so proud of them. And my baby girl really, really enjoyed herself, as you can see. <laughs> I was trying to hurry up and get home so I could take these braids down because they've been in my head way too long. Um, yeah, I need to get my hair done, so I'm just trying to do that, and that felt so good, y'all just did not understand. But yeah, I'm going to head on to my friend girl crib and let her do my hair. And that's my friend Chaz. She helped me, y'all, because I really didn't want to have to comb my hair. If y'all know me, y'all know I do not like combing my hair. So, um, she's just a really good friend of mine, and she helped me out. I really, really love her so much, and I really appreciate her, because, Lord Jesus, do y'all see this here man? No, ma'am. <laughs>
great. Seriously. My baby girl is not wanting me to be great right now. So I finally got back to the crib, you guys, and I got my hair twisted. I miss my braids, but I need to give my hair a little minute. So this is what it's gonna be. Yes, ma'am. I can't dodge my daughter for nothing. But y'all, it has been a really, really rough week. Um, I went to the dentist yesterday. I had to get a lot of work done. Like I'm trying to get my teeth done. And before I get my teeth done, I have a lot of work I needed to get done. So yeah, I got like four things worked on yesterday. My mouth is really, really sore, especially over here. Y'all, when they numbed my face yesterday, they numbed my face so good, I literally couldn't feel nothing all the way up to here all the way up to my my nose like it, i was numb numb okay but i feel so relieved like anybody that might have problems with their teeth you already know how it feels like when you have something that you really really need to get done and you finally get it done it's just like lord i thank you I promise you i do i got my clients out the way i did a rebalance i actually did two clients yesterday um not yesterday i did two clients when y'all saw that video that day on that video i had these two clients i'm up here hiding i'm hiding from my daughter because i cannot record i cannot do anything without my baby girl trying to find out where i'm at what i'm doing so right now i got my sons keeping her downstairs so that i can record <laughs> um i'm up here getting ready to write down some things and jot down some things i need to do for the week like i always do i always jot all my ideas down or any type of artwork that i want to do i always put it in this book right here um but i was just gonna run some things by y'all because i had a crazy ass week like outside of the rebalance that i did and i, I think I, I had two clients I had two clients that day that I recorded that y'all saw on that previous, um, you know, earlier in the video. But I did that and then I was trying to hurry up and get that stuff done because I had a dentist appointment that I had anxiety about for like the last week. Because I y'all know I told y'all I'm getting my I'm getting my teeth done. Like eventually I'm gonna have me some a whole brand new mouth. But in the meantime, um, you know, I got to get a lot of work done. So y'all know how that go if you've had to get your teeth done. So, um, but the kind of work I was getting done, who y'all, I was so nervous. I was so nervous, but I was a big girl, y'all. And I did it. I did it. Oh, y'all just don't understand. Y'all should have seen me acting a fool. Well, I wasn't acting a fool, but I was sure praying, y'all. I was praying like, oh, Lord, help me get through. But the man got me, he got me numb pretty good. My mouth is so sore right now, especially around here. Here it's so swollen. Like my whole face is swollen. But anywho, I came up here so I can get myself together and like get my week together because I am going back. I, I was off Monday and Tuesday. It's currently Tuesday. And um, I start go back to work tomorrow. So I'm really not ready because I, like I said, my mouth is sore. But I'm going to go ahead and get these two clients out the way. They, they are two clients that don't normally come to me, but I know them. So I'm going to just, you know, go ahead and, you know, do this favor for them. But, um, yeah, when I tell you, I be feeling like I be going, I be losing my mind with all the shit that I got to do in the course of a week. I had state inspection come out this week, um, I was so glad that he came, y'all, because I was so ready to get that out the way. Um, got him out the way, had everything I needed in the shop. Um, he I needed a DIY sink, which I'm gonna get I'm gonna give y'all a video on my DIY sink. If y'all want to know how to DIY a sink from IKEA, put that in the comment section below. I will show y'all where I got everything from how I put everything together and I will show y'all how it works because it works really, really good and it's super cute. And I, I did, I, I, I got, I did the whole thing for like, maybe like 200 some dollars. Like it, it didn't even cost that much. So yeah, I had to have that. Um, of course I had to have my barber side and stuff. I had to have a sterilizer. I had to have um, you know, garbage can with a lid on. They had to have my business license, my sh my shop license, and my manicure license. But that's pretty much it. Um, everything else, you know, I had everything. 
Oh, I had to have uh, air purifiers. I had to have two of them. As a nail technician, um, other nail techs or beginner nail techs, this is something you should take note of because it is not easy running a shop. So if you working from home, girl, work from home as long as you can. Stack your money. You know what I'm saying? Of course, be careful who you got coming in natural crib. But girl, work from home because when you um when you own a shop or own a salon, it's a lot that comes with it. You really need to be ready and prepared to, you know, be able to keep up with everything that comes with having one. So, you know, girl, I be just I be I be stressed. This is the reason why I come up here and try to write down everything I need to do. Um, just ideas that I have, stuff that I wanna do, stuff that I need to do. Because I literally have put things on the back burner because I have been so busy lately. Um, I'm waiting on some stuff to come in the mail right now. Like, I, I, I got some tips at the shop, but I really need these other tips that I'm trying to wait for. And I don't know if they're going to come or not. And I really need them to come. Um, I be getting my tips and stuff from this spot called the Attitude Shop. She, This lady, she's on Etsy. But I need my tips, and I don't even know if they're going to be there to, to be here in time. If not, I'm going to have to make do with the tips that I got. But um, I be needing, I be having things I need to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sit here and try to jot down some of this stuff. Um, and I'm going to touch bases with you all soon enough. If you are enjoying my channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to remember to to say that if you are enjoying my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe um i can see the analytics and stuff on my youtube channel and i noticed that most of the people that watch my channel are not my actual subscribers so those of you that's been clicking on my channel i really do appreciate you watching i am a beginner youtuber but we're gonna grow this thing you know what i'm saying I'm so I appreciate y'all and hopefully we can get us a real dope nail community going soon. So I'll catch up with you all later. Thank you, baby.